Here we are with our 1976 Chevy C10, and we're going to turn it into a shop truck, and today we're going to show you how we're going to put an all master crane into the bed of this truck. about it is, is it's got everything you want to have just to basically mount the crane, but you're going to have to change how you mount it under the bed. It comes with a box of parts and your instructions here, and the instructions, to be frankly honest, other than pictures aren't the most helpful thing, it's more a series of warnings, including the vehicle is not included, I think that's funny, the vehicle is not included, I thought that was one here, well too bad. What we're going to do is show you how we actually put it in the truck, though, and have why we're doing it the way we're doing it. First thing we've done right here is figured that the crane is going to sit in the back passenger side of the vehicle. And in mounting it, you'll find that it doesn't have a base large enough to pick up three of the ribs. So you're only going to be able to pick up two of the ribs. Which means you're really going to need another little piece under the one end in order to actually for it in the long run. So what we're going to do now is do the mock-up installation of this, but obviously we're going to have to get a piece to put under here, a fabricated piece, and also we're going to show you underneath why the brackets that you need are not really up to snuff. Now why have we chosen this spot? Because in the end we want the crane to sit this way when it's not in use. So it's chosen as this corner. And you do have to orient your base, which is rectangular, Show it to you here. There's your rectangular base. It must be oriented this way relative to your bed. You can't go this way because if you do, you're going to have to drill yourself another set of holes, which you could obviously do, but your lock holes for your crane mean you really need to orient it that way. That's the way they've set it up. So I've set it up in the bed here and oriented it like that, taking my black sharpie that I've got, and I've marked each of the four holes that we're going to drill. So our next step is going to be to drill the holes. Before you go drilling holes in your bed, make sure that you've checked underneath that you're not going to run into something and destroy something you don't want to destroy, or that you're going to drill a hole in like a box section you can't get to. So that will control a little bit about where you're going to place your crane. Something else you should know, why do we choose to do this? This unit we're putting in can lift up to 1,000 pounds in and out of the truck bed, and it'll swivel 360 degrees. Now, obviously, we have a bedside in the way, but basically, we can swing it clear out from the back, bring it back in, and lift something into the bed. So that's the purpose of hand right now. All right, we're going to start by drilling quarter-inch holes, or just under quarter-inch, right here. Our center points we mark with our marker. slightly larger drill bit size so we can drill out the holes because the next thing we'll do is we'll switch to a very bit and enlarge it to the correct size. Expensive, but they are perfect if you're going to do sheet metal work. As you saw, it's a struggle when you first start with a regular drill bit, but switching to the very bit would be much better. All right, we have the very bit. We're going to enlarge the holes further.
that's not necessarily our final bolt size, but it brings the bolt size up part weight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the bolts out and we'll resize to the exact final size. The neat thing when you're using a berry bit is it works much better at sheet metal. It doesn't grab like a multi fluke bit actually does. It's a much better bit to use for it. Something else you'll notice, we're working on a truck where we've got rust and everything. You know, maybe you want to leave a shop truck like that. But even if you weren't going to leave it like that, you want to do it when it's in this condition so that you do it all beforehand, then you clean everything up and decide to paint it or put in a bed liner and make it nice. All right, we've enlarged our holes one more time with the berry bit so we can fit our four bolts. Not like that. Now, I'm going to stress again, the bed is not strong enough to hold the weight we're talking that this crate can actually hold. What we're doing is a mock-up mounting and assembly of the crane so we can figure out ultimately what we're going to do for a bracket underneath the bed to hold the type of weight we're going to be able to live with it. So we bring our crane base over in the general area. It's going to be here, make sure everything lined up well, which it should, it does, that'll work fine. But we now have to do two things. We have to look and see what other parts we have and what we're going to use. And we're going to put our bolts through here and they give us with this crane right out of the box. All right, in our box, we have the two brackets they supply like this. Everything's nicely power-coated and gray, except the problem with these is I can mount the crane with them, but they have no relationship to this truck's frame, which they really tell you in the instructions. You want to mount it to the frame, and that's quite obvious. I'm going to lift a thousand pounds with it. I better be mounted solidly. But we'll use these temporarily to put the crane in the bed. All right, here we have our washers. Spare our washers on me. We have what they call your spring washers. It's interesting that that's how the Chinese refer to them. And we have our four nuts and our two brackets. Now I'm gonna go under and I'm going to put these in place. And my lovely assistant up there is gonna hold the bolts out. We gotta do one second at a time. assistant is going to hold the bolts on the top and I'm going to go underneath and tighten them up. We need a three quarter inch wrench for doing this and we're using a brake wrench on the top to have a nice hold on the actual bolt. All right here we are under the truck and you can see that's just mocked up into position. If you notice when I pan across it's not attached to anything other than the bed. That won't do. So this is the one negative with this particular crane, is that you're not attached to what they tell you to attach to, which is attached to the frame. But this will allow us to mock up, assemble the crane, then we can figure out a proper bracket system for it. Now we've at least got the crane in place. We've got the top of the crane we're gonna hold around here. As we told you, this is swivel into this position, thusly, and we can lock it down that way later on. We can use it and bring it all the way around like that. So that's the next step is put that puppy on to the base. All right, we have our jack here. We've already put our top onto our base. We have the medium lock pin. Pardon me, medium pin. This is actually the large lock pin. Large lock pin, we'll show you what it's for in a minute. And you have a cotter pin also. So we're going to take our jack and we're going to put it with our medium pin through here, which of course will be fun because I'm trying to do it where I can't see it. There, I got it. And now we'll put our cotter pin in and fasten that down. Cotter pin and the large lock pin. 
actually. Large pin, it's not a large pin. And you want to put it in like this. Now that's the real trick. There it goes. Come on. There we go. And we'll lean that down against the bed and put the cotter pin in again. And here we have our small pin, as they call it, another cotter pin. We'll bring our jack up here. And the idea is to line everything up and put that together, which is going to be a little fun again. So I got to be able to see it. Uh, jack swivels. So you can get it around to do it, then you just got to get it all lined up and get it through. And there it is. Alright, we're going to have to swing this out so we can put our extension boom on it now. Now we're going to add the extension boom to it. You can see that it's got a slot. The slot's got to go to the outside. So we'll put the extension in here. We're given a lock pin so you can lock it down at the 1,000, the 700, the 600, or the 500 length. So that's what this is for. This is a lock pin here to stow the frame. That's what that's for. We also have a grease fitting that we have to install into our frame up here. And we have this extra hardware here that actually goes for a fifth hole, which I have not put in yet because we do not have our final bracket system done. And the other part we have are parts that allow us to mount our hook. Which we're going to mount up front here. Which passes through open it. Put on our hardware, which consists of a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And we can tighten that down. And that is the basic assembly of the crane. We happen to have a handle here. It operates just like any other hydraulic jack. You've got your little slot. You can close it or open it. So you either have pressure or no pressure, currently no pressure, and your handle fit into your little opening here. And of course, when you're this far down, you're going to pivot it up so you can get your handle in. That's how it operates. In a moment, we'll tighten these things up and show you how you stow it. Right here is your little hole for your grease fitting. Let's slide. Put the grease fitting in. Be sure, make it down nice, and be sure it greases up real well because there's no lubrication in it. You get it. You don't want to just wear it out. Grease it up, normal style grease fitting, and you're pretty much ready. When you want to stow it, remember you've got your lock pin. You're going to be able to put it in. I would have to bring it over, light up the hole, put the lock pin in place, and then lock the frame in this position. And that pretty much is the basic installation, except we're going to have to show you how to make a decent bracket system down below. Remember, so far all we've done is mock this up on purpose until we can design a bracket system that will actually hold the amount of weight up to a thousand pounds as this crane can lift. Alright, we're back another day. Not dressed in the best shirt because I'm going to do some welding if I ruin it, so I sorry from. But we have a couple of brackets. As I told you before, the brackets that come with this thing aren't any good. They aren't actually going to work on the pickup because it says don't attach it to the bed. You need to attach it to the frame. So I've had bent up here on a quarter inch steel a bracket that's 18 inches long, seven and a half inches high, and two inches across the top. What we'll end up doing is drilling a couple holes in it, mash the holes where we mounted the crane, bolt them in place, and then we'll weld them to the frame. And like I said, there's two of them. About $29 at Prescott Steel. I'm sure you have a steel place you can go to in your area. I made this in you know, a couple hours, had it ready. So we're going to put them in. Okay, Margaret. Hold on. Get it? No. Okay, I'm not okay. All right, we put our initial dots. My x-ray vision isn't that good, so we had to move them over. More centered and we've put center points in here we're going to drill these initially with a small drill and we'll work our way up I may make them just a little bit large so I've got a little wiggle room
may not know about. These Mark Slot markers will bleed right through paint. And while we're not painting this right now, even if there was were to rust, that stuff will bleed through when we eventually paint the brackets themselves and the frame. So we're gonna take it off with lacquer thinner. Just don't want to leave that around on ruined stuff. All right, right here, we found that there is a bolt that we're going to have to clear underneath the truck. Now, the reason all this is important is because we're only going to weld part of this to the frame. The rest of it is just reach up to the bed because we want the bed to stay removable when we're done. So this part, this whole bracket, is going to be welded to the frame. But right here, there's a bolt and nut that we'll never have to take out, but we're going to make clearance for it right here so we do not have a problem with this bracket fitting perfectly. see under here how the bracket is installed haven't cleaned up any of the weld but we're showing you what it looks like you see they're close together in the center definitely what you would call overbuilt and we need to clean up those welds as I said but you can see how it's welded to the frame only and not in any way welded to the bed so the bed will still be removable Later on when we want to paint the truck. There we have our bed crane completely installed, complete with brackets, as you know that we've shown you earlier, that are definitely strong enough. They're now welded to the frame as you've seen, so that this crane can truly be used to lift up to a thousand pounds. And with those brackets, I say nothing built too strong ever breaks. If you have questions about anything to do with this particular item, let us know. We'll answer them in the comments.